We set out a water dish here for the bees and have rocks and for the bees to land on. And they'll actually climb on the rocks and dip down and take a drink and fly away. No one's in there right now, but it's kind of fun to watch. Rhubarb, obviously it's rhubarb season right now, so we've been harvesting that, having lots of fun with the rhubarb. We've got a squash garden going on here with a bunch of different varieties of squash and pumpkins. Not exactly sure what's growing in here, but lots of different squash, so it'll be a fun surprise to harvest. Uh, pear tree shading the hammock stand. All that ground cover is wild strawberries. We've got gooseberries here underneath the apple tree, chives. We've got more squash and radishes growing. We've got um, our bean and pea garden here going on. As you can see, there's wild strawberries just kind of taking over every little gap that we have. This is another one of the bee dishes, so a lot of different things in there for them to sit on. You actually see somebody there, Ooh, scared them away. Getting ready to take a drink. Uh, this is another pear tree here, gooseberries. Um, this is our lettuce garden. We've got uh, beets and carrots going. And then these are our Saskatoon berry bushes. So this area is really filled in well. This is kind of the idea of what we wanted. Strawberries filling in all the gaps and you're able to walk on it and they'll just regenerate. And then we've got honeyberries and some junipers and some different grasses and lilies down here. Uh, Saskatoon berry bushes down there that we transplanted. Some dill, dill and mint. Just we don't want them to take off so we've got them in a, a container. Then across the back we've got a couple of different honeyberry bushes. These are raspberries. We've got a little grove of raspberries and these are grapes. And as you can see the grapes really take off and try and take over everything. They're doing great here. Last year I got about six liters worth of uh, actual grapes off here that we made jelly with. This is a cherry tree. All the cherries that are gonna come this year. This is the one that my kids used to be stop on the driveway and jump out and eat the cherries as they'd ripen. I don't think they'll keep up with it this year. We'll be able to do jams and jellies for sure this year. And then more gooseberries raspberries. This is a golden currant. And then a raspberry patch here. And this raspberry patch will actually fill in so thick that you can't get into the middle. We try and keep it so we have paths, but every year it overgrows and we have tons and tons of raspberries off of here. Lorene took the downspouts off the house and Ryan weeping tile in here. So every time it rains, this area deep waters naturally. So we don't have to do any maintenance back here at all. Um, this is another current, more Saskatoon berries, wild strawberries, and then gooseberries, three gooseberries. I think that's it.